Hey, maybe this could be a good thing. Spencer is finally out of prison, and just in time for the holidays. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good, no? Okay, fine, this is General Hospital and he is a Cassidine, so the chances of him having a merry anything are slim to none. Related story as General Hospital's countdown to Sprina continues, Tayana Ali shares why the pairing means more than just good soap Spencer's already shared an awkward, wait, what is he doing here, reunion with Nicholas. And, according to the latest issue of Soap Opera Digest, an awkward reunion with Trina is next. Actually, let's make that with Trina and Rory, because her bow is right by her side, making Spencer's life miserable. But what exactly is it that sets him off? Just that one little L word, love. Rory declares his love for Trina in front of Spencer and it sets off a spiral of anger, self-doubt and pain, once he gets away from them, of course. He's far too proud to show off his vulnerability in public. He's self-conscious, Nicholas Alexander Chavez told Digest, and wondering, what does Rory have that I don't? Spencer, of course, doesn't know about the talk Trina just had with Ava over her true feelings. Though he might not feel much better if he did, seeing as how Trina was pretty much told to move on. But the point is, what does Rory have that he doesn't? Nothing. Trina still wants Spencer. Ignorance, though, isn't always bliss, and in this case it's just torture. Spencer needs to vent, and there are many folks around right now, so about all he's left with is Nicholas. More, this person may reveal the Willow, Nina tie, it's not so much about Spencer confiding in his father, Chavez explained. I think that Spencer is so livid with himself that he is willing to vent to anyone who will listen, the fact that it is his dad is circumstantial. There's a whole lot of deeper feelings that are beneath that anger, but Spencer is not sharing those with his father. He still doesn't trust Nicholas and still doesn't want to open up to him. Right now, he's just a convenience. But this could be the start of them repairing their relationship. No matter what happens, it can be tough to shake the urge to turn to our parents when we're hurt or upset. And that's especially true when it comes to relationships. Not that Nicholas is exactly the bastion of healthy relationships, but he certainly does have experience with heartache. Of course, even if the two do end up bonding once more, there's still that hole holding a very pregnant Esme hostage thing waiting in the wings for Spencer to discover. And we have a feeling that could put a bit more of a strain on things again. And by that, we mean blow things completely up. But hey, one thing at a time. Nicholas and Spencer's relationship is complicated, but so is their entire families. Flip through our Cassidyne photo gallery to see them all.